Hello my dear students, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn question answers of English chapter of class 10. The name of the chapter is Wrong Man in Workers Paradise. We have already learned the chapter in an explanation in detail in my earlier video. If you want to go through that video, I'll be putting the link of that video in the description box. You can go through it, click it and have a view of the chapter so let's learn question and answer students but before that if you are viewing my video for the first time do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the notifications of my upcoming videos do watch the video till end and if you like it hit the like button and do share and subscribe and also do not forget to comment in the comment section and students will also find class 9 english explanation in this channel and very soon we'll be uploading the question answers of 9th standard 2 so quickly subscribe it and, and get ready to take the benefits of the videos so let's move on students to the question answers uh, as per your textbook we have comprehension questions as the first question states answer briefly the following questions choose the answer from the alternatives given below first question the man indulged in mad whims who considers the man's work as mad whims? We have seen the chapter that whatever the work is done by the man in the in the paradise, the wrong man, it has been considered as mad whims, mad activities. So who considers it? Is it the man himself? B, the writer? C, the people in the worker paradise? So answer is the people in the worker's paradise. They were the one who were considering that he is indulged in mad whims. So answer is C, the people in workers paradise. Second question, explain the comparison in para 3. When you go through the chapter and text, you get in para 3 uh, this points that some boys. So what is the some boys compared to? So the answer is the artist. Some boys, uh, it's mentioned like those who don't work properly. So what is that some boys com compared to in this chapter? So it is compared to the artist here, the wrong man here. The second sub question, they're not studying. What is it compared to? So it's compared to the wasting of time in painting. So as the boys are wasting the time by not studying it, was it, it, what is it compared to in this chapter? It is compared to the wrong man's of wasting of time in painting instead of doing the work. Then the third sub question is yet passing in the test. And what is this compared to? This is compared to going to heaven. Like by chance you cleared the test even though if you are not studying sometimes so that is what here it's compared to going to heaven without doing any good work this were the statements in the paragraph three let's move on third question when the men say we haven't a moment to spare in para six it means that so it means when the men and the people over in the paradise are saying that we haven't a moment to spare, what do they mean? Is it they mean that they are overburdened with their work or B, they're happy and proud to be so busy or C, they are indifferent. So obviously the answer is they are happy and proud to be so busy because they felt that they are so busy in doing the work and they were very happy and satisfied being busy in their work. So answer is B, they are happy and proud to be so busy. Then question number four, why is the torrent in the workers paradise silent? So why is that sea, the torrent which is flowing is not making noise? Why is it silent? Answer is the torrent in the paradise is silent because it does not waste its time and energy in making the sound. Because you know, it's the workers paradise. Everyone is busy working in, in one or other activity. They are busy in one or other activity. They do not want to waste the time in anything else, nor sitting idly, nor doing any waste, useless things. So in the same way, even the torrent is very busy in passing and flowing from one place to another, doing its work. Rather, it's not wasting its time and energy in making the sound and creating the sound in waves. So it's just flowing on. That, that shows that it's a very completely very busy paradise. So that's what the answer is. Next, the girl's hair was, was carelessly done in para 9. This indicates that she was interested only in her work, or she did not like to dress her hair properly, or she was unaware of any sense of dressing. So when you read paragraph 9 in the story, you get the line like the girl's hair was carelessly done. 
So what does it indicate? Why it was carelessly done? So when you read the chapter, you understand that she was interested only in her work. As you know, it was a worker's paradise. Everyone was busy in, in just doing the work and nothing else. So was this girl. She was very much interested in her work. So she did not uh, just uh, did her hair or put her hair properly. So the answer is A, she was interested only in her work. Next, sixth question. Why did the girl of silent torrent feel sorry for the man? Means why did she feel pity on that man, the wrong man who was there? So the girl of silent torrent felt sorry for the man because she had noticed the man having no work to do and he was sitting idle. So the girl felt pity on that man because she noticed that man is having no work and he's sitting idle without doing any work from such a long time. So she felt sorry for that man. She felt pity for that man and she wanted to offer him some work. So she had felt this sorry for that man. <coughs> sorry. Now, seventh question. The girl scanned the painted pot at home secretly. It's mentioned in paragraph 27. And this line indicates that what does this line indicates that the girl scanned the painted pot at home and very secretly so options are the girl was impressed by the art and beauty the girl did not want the artist to know that she was impressed by his work but the girl was afraid of the elders rebuke for wasting her time what was it so when you read the chapter you understand that girl was afraid of the elders rebuke for wasting her time because everybody was busy in the work so elders did not like anyone to waste the time so she was afraid and she was afraid of the elders rebuke for wasting her time so c is the answer then question number eight the hurrying feet of the girl became less hurried because means the girl who used to walk very hurryingly very fast her slow her feet became slow like her steps became slow less hurried why because she became lazy like the man or she was attracted by the art or she was trying to rearrange priorities or the meaningless was slowly becoming meaningful so again when we go through the chapter we come to know that the meaningless things was becoming slowly meaningful for her means the meaningless act of painting and drawing the lines and seeing that and all became meaningful her, for her so in the similar manner various other work, works which were meaningless before became meaningful afterwards so that you can see this comes where she got the ribbon, she gets the ribbon, painted ribbon and where she admires and she starts uh, putting it on her hair. So at that time you can find this. So when you read the chapter, you understand that the answer is D, the meaningless was slowly becoming meaningful. Next, why did the elders of the workers paradise become anxious? Means why were they becoming so curious and so worried? Why, what happened? What was happening there? So answer is the elders of the workers paradise became anxious as more and more people were becoming idle, wasting their time in useless things such as painting and sculpture. So the answer is like this, that elders were becoming very anxious as they were becoming very like uh, fearful and they were having a thought on it that why the people are becoming lazy because they were, they were finding the people, they were seeing that more and more people of the workers paradise they are becoming idle day by day they're becoming lazy they are not doing the work they were just wasting the time in useless things such as painting and sculpture and all the rest of the other things which were not done earlier in the workers paradise so they became anxious they wanted to know why is it happening and they wanted to stop it so the answer is like that then the girl follows the man out of the workers paradise this suggests that the girl so when we see at the last that the girl, when the worker's paradise is thrown out of that paradise, even the girl follows him. So why is it? What does it suggest about the girl? So there are options like was bored, the, the, whether the girl was bored with worker's paradise, she was fascinated with the man's skill in painting, or she saw new possibilities upon, open up before her. So again, when we go to the chapter, we come to know that the answer is she, uh, she saw new possibilities open up before her. Now she had new things before her. So she wanted to uh, know about it. Some meaningless things now became meaningful for her. So the answer is C. She saw new possibilities open up before her. So she wanted to follow the 
man out of the workers paradise next question what is the line the man never believed in marriage utility mean means why did the man did not <clears throat> believe in the utility like useful works like to do work so answer is the man never believed in mere utility means that the man appreciated the beauty in everything and liked those things which pleased his senses even though if they were not useful so when we go across the chapter we come to know that man did not believe in only useful works or working hard why because he appreciated everything for its beauty anything he liked it he appreciated the beauty and whatever pleased his senses means whatever made him happy his all his senses were, were pleased by any of the activities even though if it would be use, not useful he would be very happy and he would consider it as a a, a useful thing so that was the uh, the matter that why he never believed in mere utility because whatever he saw he found the beauty in it and he started liking it even though if it was not useful for him next question what changes occur in the girl's behavior or attitude at the following stages in the story so we have one sentence each year from the story and there are girl's attitude mentioned here like what happened in that situation what was the girl's behavior and attitude in this particular situation and stages so let us see one by one and give the answer before she agreed to give her picture to the wrong man so before giving the picture to the wrong man what was the attitude of the girl so answer is the girl was slightly angry when the wrong man offered to draw pictures on her picture because she thought it was useless and unnecessary because at the first time at the first when she met the wrong man she thought that he is a useless fellow he is doing all unwanted things so she got angry when she first time heard that he will be drawing pictures a drawing is on her picture that is spot so she thought she got angry that it was useless and unnecessary thing so this kind of attitude was there before giving the picture after she gave her picture to the wrong man what was her attitude so answer is the girl was puzzled with the drawing and she was engrossed in thinking about the colors and the lines so once she got the picture back after the drawing and all she just was puzzled and confused with the what kind of drawing he had done what was in bronze what was made on it and she was lost in the thinking about the colors and different lines so the her attitude is slightly changed then next stage is when the wrong man offered to make ribbons for her so at that time what was her attitude so answer is the girl offered the ribbons more readily than before and also used it she also started wasting time by trying to put them up in her hairs so as we see before she was not where she got angry when he asked the picture but now here once she was uh, she saw and she was deeply thinking about the colors and lines now when the ribbons were asked by that man she gave it readily she did not hesitate she did not get angry and after he painted the ribbons and gave back she also used it and she started wasting time sitting and tying up her hairs and putting the ribbons on it so here also we say that the uh, how the attitude of the girl is changed the next stage is when she followed the wrong man out of the workers paradise so what was the attitude when she followed the wrong man while he was going out of the workers paradise so answer is the girl no longer hesitated to go with the wrong man as her love for art had developed and she found it meaningful now why she was uh, the attitude here is slightly changed you can say completely changed that she did not hesitate first she was so afraid that the elders would see something uh, she is wasting time in looking at the pot or picture they would scold her she was she was a bit uh, fearful there but here she did not even hesitate to follow the wrong man because now she had developed the love for the art for the drawing for the for the lines and the paintings what he had done and she found it meaningful now so there was some meaning in it so that is why after developing the love for art she wanted she followed the wrong man without any hesitation so this was the change we see in the girl's attitude at this stage so move to the next question which is the last one at the end of the story there is complete change in the girl's attitude to life who should the credit go to you see that at the end the girl is completely changed her attitude is changed so whom will you give the credit so the answer is the credit of the changing girl's attitude towards the life firstly it will go to the artist as he had the ability to draw others attention through his art and drawing 
because he used to draw so nicely and he used to draw the attention of others whoever saw or came across it they were lost in the deep thinking they used to sit and think about that and they found it meaningful secondly it goes to the girl for her open mindedness to accept the art and considering it meaningful the credit will also go to the girl for the secondly because of her open minded mindedness because she accepted the new thing the art which was not done before now she has accepted and she considered it as meaningful so we can give the credit to both first it goes to artist and second it goes to the girl herself so this is how we come to the end of question answers students i hope you understood the question answers it is clear now i hope this video was helpful for you all thank you for watching my video we'll be coming soon with more such videos thank you